Parking brake set. Throttle idle, landing gear down, generator one and two, verify off. Battery master on. Bionics are on as well. Hydraulic pump left and right, both on. Verify APU started. A part of any pilot's initial training is becoming familiar with the cockpit controls and displays. The cockpit or flight deck of any spacecraft houses the flight crew along with the controls and instruments needed to fly the ship. The size of the cockpit and the number of crew accommodated varies from ship to ship depending on the ship's role and size. This video is going to concentrate on the pilot station and the displays and controls available to them. The displays and controls in Star Citizen spacecraft have slight differences from ship to ship, but the functions are the same. The stick can be side or centre mounted and is used by the pilot to input rotation commands, pitch, roll or yaw, dependent on the pilot's preference to the IFCS computer. The stick has several buttons mounted onto the grip, which can be pilot configured but usually controls weapons, targeting, IFCS modes, etc. The throttle is located on the left side of the cockpit and provides input to the IFCS computer, setting the demanded forward acceleration of the spacecraft. Ships can sometimes have translation control stick in place of a traditional throttle. The translation control is used to command translation, otherwise known as strafe, movements in any direction with 6 degrees of freedom, up, down, left, right, forwards or backwards. Ships with traditional throttles also house a translation control mini stick. Interchangeable status displays or ISDs. The interchangeable status displays are integrated into the instrument panel or can be displayed holographically on some ships. These are used to display the various display modes available. The displays can be set dependent on the pilot preference and can be duplicated if desired. Screens available include thruster output, power controls, weapon controls, target information, etc. The Transdirectional Awareness System or TDAS the TDAS is the ship's radar and can be either a 3D holographic globe or a 2D radar display. TDAS displays all contacts around the ship in 3D space. I will cover the TDAS function in more detail in a later video. The Heads Up Display or HUD The HUD is holographically projected in front of the pilot and displays all essential flight information. The HUD has several components to provide this information quickly and efficiently to the pilot. These are the velocity tape, which displays either the ship's forward or reverse velocity in meters per second. The throttle setting in percent, zero being idle and 100 being maximum without afterburner. The boost fuel level in percent full. The IFCS mode indicator displays the available and currently active IFCS speed limiting mode. There are three modes available. Precision or pre, space combat maneuvering, SCM, and cruise, CRU. Each mode increases the maximum allowed speed limit imposed by the IFCS computer. The boxed mode is the currently active mode. Changing the IFCS mode up or down is tied to the throttle setting. When the throttle is at above 49%, the IFCS computer will allow a shift up in mode. Setting the throttle to 48% or less will allow a shift down in mode. The arrow shows whether shifting modes at that current throttle setting will increase or decrease the maximum allowed speed. The engine thrust indicator, which shows the current thrust output in the forward or reverse direction. This does not currently display thrust from the maneuvering thrusters. If the landing gear is extended, this will be displayed in the lower left corner of the HUD. The gun cross shows the direction that the guns are pointed if they are not gimbaled. Countermeasure indicators show the currently selected countermeasure as highlighted text and pointed to by a carrot. Flares are represented by a flame and chaff is represented by a radar pulse icon. The number to the right shows the amount of countermeasures remaining. The IFCS safeties show which safety modes are currently active. Active modes are highlighted with disabled modes shown with an X through them. Quantum fuel is shown in remaining kilometres available to travel with your remaining fuel capacity. The Combat Visor Interface or CVI is the helmet mounted display. It can display much of the same information as the ISDs by way of two display panes. The left hand pane displays the ship shield, hull and thruster status. The lower portion is configurable and can display the overview, weapons, power and shield displays. The right hand pane displays target information, hull and shield status along with the pilot's name. The lower portion of the right hand pane will display any pinned targets. The CVI also displays the total velocity indicator or TVI and the anti-total velocity indicator or ATVI. This provides an outside world reference to the actual spacecraft flight path. In other words, 
Where the TVI is pointed is where the ship is flying towards. The ATVI shows the direction that you are headed away from. The line of sight marker, or loss, shows where the pilot is looking. If your ship has gimbaled weapons, this is the direction they will be pointed. The target direction arrow shows the direction of the currently selected target, and the target bracket highlights the selected target with a 3D bracket aligned longitudinally with the ship. A small arrow shows the forward direction of the target. The cockpit in Star Citizen ships have a lot of information and can seem complex, but having a good understanding of what you are seeing will aid you in making the best decisions in the heat of combat. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.